now, depending on your company, they might require you to have a scale ticket for your truck. So that's what we're gonna do now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Back the bus up. The first thing you have to do is set up your account with waymytruck.com. So I'm gonna show you on the iPad but you can do this on your phone or you can do this on your home computer. It really doesn't matter, it's all the same thing. So the first thing you have to do is go to waymytruck.com. Scroll down and create a driver account. When you're in create the driver account, you're gonna enter your name, company name. The company name can be anything. Uh, your email address, phone number, do a password, click I'm not a robot, click the next step. It will ask you for a payment information. Uh, it'll send you an email to verify your email address and things like that. But uh, eventually you're gonna have to put in your payment information so that you can pay for all the weights that you're going to do. You can use ComData cards, you can use a credit card or a debit card. There's a lot of different ways to pay. We'll look at that in just a second. But I already have an account, so I'm just gonna click log in. When you log in, you can manage your account from here. App is pretty much just to get weighed. You, if you want to manage your account, you have to go to the website to manage your account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Once you get logged in, you're going to have a screen that looks like this. You can look at your account profile. You can look at vehicle information, your payment method, your email list. We'll go through all these different things one at a time. So first, we'll look at account profile. You click on a, a, uh, the account profile. It's going to have your name and your company name and all those things. Go to your vehicle information. Then you can have your company name. And if you have multiple trucks, you can have truck number one, two, three, four. Or if you have specific numbers on your trucks, you can enter those. If you want to enter your license plate number, you can do that. You have to have it for certain states. Uh, that there's that red note there. It says for Arizona and Nevada, they require that you have the, um, the license number on there. It will let you know if you happen to be in one of those states that you have to enter the license plate number. Uh, you can enter your trailer number. So the next thing is your payment method. You can go into your payment method, and then here's where you can enter what kind of card you're going to use. Uh, I've got mine set to use a credit card, uh, but you can use an EFS, a ComData, or the quick queue account and then you can click continue and then enter those numbers email list is a list of people that this can automatically email your weight to so if you have a dispatcher that that needs the weight every time you do a scale then it will every time you weigh it will automatically email those people uh, it automatically emails it to your email account but you can add more emails in there to have it directly sent to your company. You can go into your weight history and you can see here the last time that I scaled was at Charlie's Country Corner in Grayling, Michigan. So I can click send an email so it will resend all the emails. If I need to resend the emails I don't have to send them because it automatically sends them the first time. Or you can look at the details on it and you can look at it the the what date, what time, the steer weight, the drive weight. Uh, I didn't have a trailer on there when I did it, so my gross weight was 8260. Uh, what my ticket number, what the fee was, who the official Waymaster is that's on record, and then the cat scale location. So it gives you all that information there. And you can look at it last seven days, last 30, the whole year, or you can put in a specific date range if you're looking for a special place. You can also export the results. So you can, uh, you can export those things to a file so that you can have it in a spreadsheet. And you can change your password, or you can go to the Super Trucks cards, which I don't have, or you can log out. So those are your, your main settings there. And if you click on the menu button right here, it basically gives you the same selections as your main page. It's really easy to use. Uh, at the top up here, they do have a 24-hour call number 
So if you're having a problem, you can call that number and they can try to get it fixed for you, which is kind of nice. Or in the center, they have the call button, which is a feedback form where you can enter in comments if you had a problem or something like that, but it wasn't, you don't require immediate assistance at this time. Once you get your account set up, then you go to your app store and you download Way My Truck. And then we'll cover that app in the next part of this video. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through getting your vehicle weighed at a CAT scale. Pull up onto the scale. Okay, so then you open Weigh My Truck you enter the location number and the location number you won't be able to see it but it's up there it's 1021 so 1021 and click accept and Charlie's scale that's the one that I want so accept So yep, that's haul and pause. I don't need any of that. Freight of all kinds, except, oop, enter a tractor number. Uh, tractor number one. Except, enter a trailer number. Trailer number one. Done. Except. going to charge me $12.50 for the first way. The second way, if I want to reweigh, is only $2. So I'll accept that. And there it is. Steer axle 4660. Drive axle 3600. And my gross is 82.60. It's about 400 pounds less than I thought I was going to be done. And that's it. It'll email you the certified receipt, or you can go in and get the ticket. But either way, super painless. So if you got something good out of this video, click the like button, click the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And as always, have safe travels, and I hope to see you on the road.